Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera dan salam Malaysia Madani. I'm Dr. Abu Osman bin Maktab, the chairman of the revised STPM examination syllabus, Management Mathematics 950, will give a briefing on the revised STPM examination syllabus of Management Mathematics 950. The syllabus is designed to enable candidates to understand mathematical concepts, develop mathematical thinking, acquire problem-solving skill, and apply mathematics in various disciplines. The objective of this syllabus are to enable candidates to use mathematic concepts, terminologies, and notations, display and interpret mathematical information in tabular, diagrammatic, and graphical form, identify mathematical patterns and structures in a variety of situations, use appropriate mathematical models in different contexts, apply mathematical principles and techniques in solving problems, perform calculations and approximations to the specific degree of accuracy, interpret the significance and reasonableness of results, present mathematical explanations, arguments, and conclusions. Next, we move to the schemes of assessment. There will be three semesters in total and a written test at the end of each semester. For semester one, candidates are required to answer all eight questions with variable marks. Meanwhile, for semester two and semester three, there will be six questions that must be answered. The tests are central assessment and the duration of the examination for each paper is two hours. The weightage of each paper contributes 33.33%. Basically, the themes and topics for the revised STPM examination syllabus Management Mathematics 950 are the same as the previous syllabus. Only a few topics and subtopics are rephrased based on the suitability of the learning objective covered. For topic one, it is rephrased to functions and equations. The subtopics are shortened into two. Subtopic 1.1 is function and graphs and subtopic 1.2 is equations and inequalities. For topic 2, the topic remains unchanged as in the previous syllabus, which is sequence and series. However, the subtopics are now divided into two, which is 2.1 sequences and 2.2 series. Next, in topic 3, the topic is matrices and system of linear equations. The subtopics are the same as in the previous syllabus, which is 3.1 matrices and 3.2 systems of linear equation. Topic 4 is limit and continuity. The topic will cover 4.1 limits and 4.2 will be continuity. For topic 5, which is differentiation, the subtopics 5.1, derivatives and rules of differentiation, 5.2, curve sketching, and 5.3, rates of change and optimization problems. And the last topic for semester one is integration. Integration also has three subtopics. Subtopic 6.1 is indefinite and definite integrals. Subtopic 6.2 is techniques of integration. And subtopic 6.3 will be areas between curves and consumers and produce surpluses. Next, we move to the content for semester two, which is statistics field. There are few changes in the syllabus for semester two. There will be no longer topics from data descriptions, index numbers, 
and time series. Topic 7 starts with probability. The subtopics are 7.1 probability of a single event and combined events and 7.2 conditional probability. For the topic probability distribution, it will be divided into two main topics, which is discrete probability distribution. For topics 8, continuous probability distribution for topic 9. For topic discrete probability distribution, the subtopics are 8.1, discrete random variables, and 8.2, binomial and Poisson distribution. Meanwhile, for the topic continuous probability distribution, the subtopics are 9.1 continuous random variables and 9.2 normal distributions. Next, for topic 10, the topic is sampling distribution and estimation, where its subtopics are based on the main topics. The next management mathematics 950 syllabus introduce a new topic, which is hypothesis testing. The topic breaks into two subtopics. 11.1 is elements of the hypothesis testing, and 11.2 is hypothesis testing on a single population. And the last topic for semester 2 is topic 12. The topic remains the same as in the previous syllabus, which is correlation and regression. This topic consists of two subtopics, which is 12.1 correlation and 12.2 regression. Now we proceed to the third semester, which is the financial mathematics field. There are a few changes in the topics in semester three. For topic 13, which is annuities, the subtopics are divided into three, 13.1, ordinary annuity, 13.2 amortization, 13.3 are sinking funds. The next topic is a new topic introduced in semester 3, which is investment appraisal. The subtopics are divided into two, which are 14.1 short-term and long-term securities and 14.2 net present value an internal rate of return. Topic 15 is life annuities and life insurance. Subtopics are based on the main topics. For topic 16, linear programming. The topic is divided into two subtopics, which are simplexes method and the, and the big M method. The next topic is critical path analysis. Subtopic 17.1 is activity network. Subtopics 17.2 is critical path and subtopic 17.3 is crashing a network. Last but not least, the last topic of the semester 3 is topic 18, which is inventory control. This last topic has two subtopics which is 18.1, Basic Economic Order Quantity, quantity Model, and 18.2, Economics Order Quantity Model, with plan shortages. This concludes the overview of the updated STPM examination syllabus, Management Mathematics 950. Best wishes to all teachers and students. Thank you.